Hey, what's up, Sergeant? YouTube deleted this video without me knowing a little while ago. After sorting things out, I have been cleared to re-upload. Also, for privacy reasons, certain people had to be censored out of this video. Please give it your watch, your like, and definitely comment something positive in the comments below for a reply. Love you guys. Enjoy the video. My worst nightmare has come true. Jimmy is stuck inside of the prison. We, we can't get him out. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Here, hold my camera. Hold my camera. Hold my camera. <laughs> Hold up, hold up. Somebody's firing off bullets, bro. We just broke out of prison and we literally just got pulled over. Shit. Hello. What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another epic adventure. Today I've actually risked it all just to get inside this abandoned prison and film a video overnight challenge for y'all. Today we're gonna spend the night here. It is haunted. We're gonna spend the entire night. I need you guys to do me one solid favor. Smash that like button. Let me know that the sergeants are here in full force. Like guys, comment. Just spam the comment with your love and positivity because we're gonna need it today. I got a really good adventure for y'all today. Let's go. So I'm here with Jimmy and then we just heard like a scream. A loud scream and we haven't even started off in this video yet all right guys there are a lot of different locations and areas to this place there's a block there's b block and there's c block and also there's a big abandoned church on the prison property we are in the prison right now apparently people that do come here and explore this prison um there aren't too many videos about this place but a lot of people complain about getting attacked by something and hearing a loud scream on the property they don't know what it is that attacked them some say it's a homeless person, some say it's not. They don't know exactly, but man, we haven't been inside this prison for five minutes and I'm already getting the, the creepiest of all vibes. I don't know what parts of the prison this is. This might've been more of the administration because look at this, everything is pretty much left behind here. Wow, everything, a lot of stuff was actually left behind in this prison. Once again, as I said, we did drive a really, really long way just to get here. I'm hoping to capture as much things as possible and I'm gonna be spending the night here. So that's the cool thing about this. We're gonna be sleeping the night here in the prison because honestly, there's no hotels in the area and we're like, hey, why not sleep here in the prison? So the objective is find something spooky on camera, find something entertaining for y'all and find a place to sleep. Also find the cells. Because right now this is looking more like the administration area than an actual prison. We've made it to this really giant warehouse right now. We're going to cut through this warehouse, go out the other way, and try to get into C block or A block. One of those. And at the end of the video, I'm actually going to climb this. What was that? Yeah. Oh, oh, behind you, behind you, behind you. It's a big owl. Look, 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 look. There it is. Look. Whoa. Yo, Owl, my boy, can we be friends? Nah, Owl's one attack. Hey, hello. Did you guys see that? That was beautiful. Bro, that is, is that the first time you've seen an Owl? Yeah. Not mine, but that was awesome. All right, let's keep moving. I don't want to bother the Owl. Yeah, it's probably got a nest up in here somewhere. What is this? Holy crap. What is this room over here supposed to be? I don't know what this room is, but it looks pretty damn scary. And there's like another secret door in here that's been busted open. Hopefully there's no like black widow spiders here because we are in Florida and there are dangerous animals everywhere. Look at this. Oh shit, I know exactly where I am right now. Oh my God. What? 
What's wrong? I'm inside of the owl's nest. That all that on the ground. What? Trying to attack you? Okay. What? What? Where is it? There it is. Bro, that owl's going after Jimmy. Well, don't run. Come back this way. Look at that thing. <clears throat> Look at how big it is. That's, that's a beautiful bird right there. Jimmy's afraid of that owl. Hey, Mr. Owl. You see it? Yeah, it's literally sitting right in front of me. Look at that. It's right there. Hello. Its eyes are, its eyes are legit red right now. Look at that thing, it's beautiful. Where? It's right there on the wall. Wow, I've never been this close to an owl before. At least a living one. Whoa. You're gorgeous. I literally just want to look at you, that's all. You're, you are beautiful. Jimmy, look how beautiful that is. Wow. All right, let's get out of here, let's get out of here. It hit me, bro. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cover your eyes, because they'll go for your eyes. Oh, this is where the inmates would hang out and watch TV, I think. That's what I'm thinking this is. Look, there's TVs everywhere. Oh, there's water here. We just found the hospital part of the prison over here. And already... Whoa, what is that noise? Oh, dude, look at this. Everything is left behind. Wow. We gotta keep our eye out for an owls because we see one try to fly out of here as we're walking through the building. Wow, look at this. Everything, to the hospital bed is here. Damn. This is cool. The building that I was just in before, that was the library. So that's where the inmates would go and basically read books and stuff. Look at this, there's a cell over here. Wow. This is a pretty big cell. Must have housed at least two people. Inmate restroom. Oh, cool. Not really. Look at how amazing this is. This is the actual hospital where they keep the inmates that would stab each other and injure each other. This is really, really cool. We got more beds over here. So it seems like this hospital is infested with owls because I'm finding owl poop everywhere. And it's a big amount of it too. It's not even just a small amount. So currently we're in the hospital. This is an isolation room right here. If you've never seen anything like this, this is what it looks like. This is a hospital isolation room. This isn't the actual prison. This is the hospital for the prison. It's really cool though. And there's actually so much left behind. Just a mop room. This, this is the nurse's station right here. Whoa, everything has, oh my God, all the x-rays are here. Wow, this is cool. Holy crap, guys, look at this. People's x-rays. Isn't this amazing? Dude. Wow. That's somebody's ribs right there. That's somebody's ribs, picture of someone's ribs. This is a picture of someone's skull, I think. Not 100% sure, but it looks like it. Whoa, that's so cool, man. Actually, that's their pelvis. That's someone's pelvis. Yeah, that ain't no skull. That's a pelvis. I ain't no doctor, but I think that's what it is. It's a pelvis. Wow, I've never found anything like this in an abandoned hospital before. This is really interesting. Moving along into this really scary and dark hallway over here. Look at this place. This looks like something out of a zombie movie, guys. Honestly, if zombies were to exist, it would be in here. This door says x-ray on it. I'm hoping they've left the x-ray machine. Let's hope we get lucky. Oh, is that in here? The x-ray machine is not here, damn it. Unless it's through this door. Nope, it's not, that's the bathroom. So typically the x-ray machine would be in here somewhere. It's just a shame that it's not here. Yep, this is definitely something out of a, a zombie movie right here. Look at this bed blocking this door over here, not sure why. I wonder if there's actually anything even in here. Nope, nothing but spider webs. What about in here? Nope, nothing at all. Yo! Yo, there's people. What? There's people. I just got called to come out of the prison because apparently there's people outside of the prison 
searching through our car with a flashlight. Um, it could be police security. Um, if it is, we're gonna hide. Yeah, we just gotta get out of that building. Stay out of the moonlight too. We're trying to go and look at our car because apparently someone is out there with a flashlight looking into our car. It's not my car, but still all our stuff is in there. What the fuck was that? It sounded like somebody screaming. This is getting really serious right now. We had seen someone by our car, but... What the f is that, bro? What is that? I got my lights turned off and there's something screaming over there. Could it be an animal? It sounded like a freaking demon screaming. All right, so now that that thread is gone, whoa, another threat, beehives everywhere. I'm in a part of the prison that's surrounded by beehives, not sure why. Hopefully I don't get stung in here. What is this place? This, this was the barbershop, look. Picture, this is, you can only have two styles of cut, hair cutting in here. Wow, that's amazing. As you guys can see, this is the church right here, making my way inside. Whoa, this is cool. I've been to a lot of abandoned churches before, but never a church inside of a prison. I didn't even realize churches like this, at this size, existed inside of prisons. Look at this. All the benches are still here, some of the Bibles are still here. This is super cool. It's kind of getting overgrown. Look at all the, the nature is growing inside of the building right here. Yeah, this is really, really interesting though. We just heard a really loud thump in here. Huh. It sounded like somebody was walking. Whoa. These floors are so deteriorated. Now this prison has is probably over. What is this? It's like something was just moving in this area. I was trying to say this prison is over 80 years old. It's abandoned because it was just outdated. A lot of deaths and killings and riots did happen in here. I'm not gonna say the name of this place because I don't want people coming here and destroying it. As you guys can see, all the destruction in here is just natural destruction. But if I say the name of it, people are gonna come. They're gonna loot it, they're gonna destroy it. Oh, you scared the shit out of me, dude. They're gonna loot it, they're gonna set it on fire. As you guys can see here, people have already tried to set it on fire. And that's pretty much the only like severe destruction that this place has. Um, okay. I'm literally doing cinematics of this book and this page literally, no fucking way. Did that literally just happen? Twice in front of my eyes? This page opened by itself and then closed. Look, it's doing it again. I kid you not, there's no wind in here. This was literally like this before. And I'm doing a cinematic and it just popped up and then it went back down and went back up. Kind of like that, but a bit worse. Could be a coincidence. Could have been just stuck to the pages, but that, that was creepy. What the fuck was that? Must have been an eagle. That sounded like somebody screaming. What? What? Fucking birds are attacking me, bro. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. All right, guys, after all that commotion, I'm back in the hospital now to finish exploring it because I don't think I got to explore most of it. I think I was in this room when I heard your girl yelling. That was a close one, though. Oh, look at that lizard just walked up into the ceiling. Another one, another lizard right there. This is the dental area over here. Wow, creepy train driving by all of a sudden. I don't see no signs saying I gotta put on a mask. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Whoa, what is this place? 
So this is, oh look, everything. They've left everything behind here. We're inside of the dentist, off the dental place. And look at this, all the chairs are still here. But check it out, we're in the dental part of the prison. As you guys can see, there's all these dental chairs right here. That's pretty interesting. Wow, I've never seen anything like this in prisons before. He's gone his own separate way. I've gone my own separate way. And look at this. I cannot believe how much has been left behind in this place. There's all this x-ray stuff. I don't know what these machines are for. Let me know if you guys know what all this stuff is for. There is a weird smell in here. It's kind of making me feel nauseous. So I'm going to get out of that room. But... There's so much going on. Hey, look at this. X-ray machines right here. These are X-ray machines. Oh shit, oh shit. A helicopter. Guys, it's landing, we gotta get out of here. Oh shit. It's landing. Is it really? Yeah, we gotta get out of here. They probably have infrared. We need to leave now. Look at that. That's a helicopter landing right here for us. Bro, it was pointing right at us. Is it the spotlight? It was pointing right at us. Look at that, you guys. It's got a spotlight on. That, that helicopter, as you guys can hear, literally just landed outside the prison perimeter. I don't know if it's for us. It looks like a military helicopter. My lights are off right now, clearly, because I don't want anyone to see us. That helicopter, we don't know what the heck it's all about. It literally landed in the fields right next to the prison, which gave us a bit of a scare. So that's two scares we've had right now. But we're not going to leave. We're going to stay. We're going to become savage. We're literally going to spend the night in the cells tonight. All right, guys, we just made it to cell block A. We're going to go and explore and see if there's a suitable place for us to sleep in there. I'm going to keep my lights off right now. What the fuck is that? Holy shit, that scared the crap here. That's somebody's car. That's an exhaust system. Holy shit, that was loud and scary. What is going on with this place? There's just so much scary things happening at once. This is the entrance to cell block A right now. This is where all the prisoners were kept. This is where all the prison cells are. Holy moly. Wow. Look at the spider webs, be careful. Wow, look at all this. This is beautiful, guys. So far, what I'm finding here in cell block A is a lot of empty rooms. I'm really hoping to find some beds. See, there's showers right now. That's exactly what you don't do here is drop the soap. Whoa, look at all these spider webs. Are there any black widows in them? I'd be interested to see if there's black widow spiders thriving in this prison. Uh, nope, I don't see none. No black widows. It'd be cool to find some hole. That's just like a little window for the inmate to look at him and breathe out of. Yeah, you don't want to be in jail, kids. Don't do anything bad. Look at all this. Is this not cool? So our objective is not only to find something paranormal in this place, but also... What the fuck was that? Could have been the other guys. Our objective is to find a clean cell that we can sleep in the night. Look at this one over here. This one's a slide open, I think. Oh, this one's locked. This is like solitary over here. This is open. It's come this is for uh, people that can't be, uh, that can't be around. Segregated. Wow. Pretty cool, right? Cool to look at, but not cool to be in. So basically inside of this place, there's actually three cell blocks, A, B, and C. And so far we're in A and it's massive. It's got different wings, it's got different size. Really creepy looking though. What? It's a control center. It's a control center, where? Yeah. Up there? Oh, I wanna go in there, that's cool. How do we get into the control center? How do we get in there? Oh, from here. So basically this is the control tower. And oh, look at this, alarm cases, radios, cuffs, lights. That's cool that all this stuff is left behind. I've been to a lot of abandoned prisons and it's rare you see things just left there. But I'm sure they have more towers, so hopefully we can find more stuff in all the other places. So right now we're inside of cell block B. Cell block A was cool. It didn't have much going on though. Pretty much all the same thing. Cells with slidable doors like this. I'm surprised there's no bars. It's very weird that there's no bars. Oh my God, look at all that graffiti up there. Now that's super cool. I'm hoping to find a bed. Hopefully they've left 
a clean room with a bed for me to sleep in the night. Like I said, we're literally out here in the middle of nowhere. We're like hours from civilization. There's no hotel, so we're like, hey, screw it. We're gonna sleep here, man. And I need you guys to stick by me till the end of this video. I got a surprise for y'all later. Wouldn't it suck to be in a place where you can't speak loud? You literally have to abide by the rules. You can't be loud, you can't do nothing, you can't text your girlfriend, you can't see your family. You just gotta basically follow the rules. And that is why you don't do stupid shit and end up in jail. Making my way up top right now, I wanna see if I can find something. What's wrong? What is that? You heard something? It could be an animal. Careful. Yeah, man, take a look at this. This is really, really beautiful. This, this cell kind of looks cleaner than all the other cells. Bro, are you for real right now? You locked yourself in a cell. What do you mean move? You can't kick it open, it's slideable. Man, we're gonna have to call rescue now. F sakes. No, come here. Jimmy locked himself in a fing cell. F Why would you do that, bro? Are you not thinking? Jimmy's literally locked in a fing cell right now. Does, does that slot open up? Sit tight. I'm gonna find a metal bar or something. Jesus Christ. Jimmy literally locked himself in a f***ing jail cell. I kid you not, no clickbait. Sit tight, I'm coming back. I'm gonna find a metal bar or something. I doubt I'm gonna be able to open a f***ing cell door with a bar anyways. To prison for a reason. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, he closed the door on himself. He's trying to play a joke. I don't know how we're gonna open this here. Pretty f right now. We're trying to find tools around the prison to break Jimmy out. I, I kid you, he's literally stuck in there. Worst case scenario is we're gonna have to call the cops. I have this metal rod, but it won't do nothing. I mean, it's a prison for a fucking reason. Number one rule in abandoned exploration you do not, absolutely do not shut doors behind you. It's the number one fucking rule. So, my worst nightmare has come true. Jimmy is stuck inside of the prison. We, we can't get him out. We've tried everything. Basically, I found this room here next to him. Um, we're gonna try to go to the store somewhere and maybe buy a sledgehammer and break open this wall here My life That's a thick wall, but it's breakable. It's concrete So hopefully can you breathe in there? You're gonna be here for a while here. Let me give you I have a bottle of water. I'll give you a bottle of water Yeah, I'm gonna give you a flashlight. Sit tight, stay calm, and don't be scared. No, nothing's gonna get inside anyway, so we'll be back. We're gonna go find a sledgehammer. All right, we'll be back. Okay. Fuck. Man. That's our only option is to go find a, a sledgehammer. If not, we're gonna have to call the cops. So yeah, no joke, no lie. We literally just drove half an hour to Home Depot, and we got ourselves some big sledgehammers. We're gonna try to rescue Jimmy ourselves. This has never happened to anyone before. I mean, a kid did get locked into a bank vault in Florida like two weeks ago, and we're, you know, it sucks. This is the worst thing that could possibly happen. This isn't clickbait. This isn't fake. This is legit real right now. Like, like this is the worst thing that could happen to us. But thank God it happened at a time where Home Depot was still open. <laughs> we weren't messing around. When I said we're gonna break Jimmy out of prison, we finally made it. We had to throw the sledgehammers over the, the gate and we're gonna try to bust them out now. 
this is a life and death situation. We have no other choice but to do this. So, 16 pounder right here. Where is he? Yeah. Oh, he's in here. Shit, you okay? Damn, he's been, he's been in there for like over. Yeah. Here, take this, Jimmy. Try to pound the, the wall. Take it. Watch your eyes. Try to pound the wall here. I'll be as light. The weak spot. Go ahead. Squeeze through that, give me that flashlight. You can go, you, here, you got this. Give me your hand, you gotta go sideways. If, if you need to widen that, let me know. We can widen it. We'll yeah. Don't rip your clothes. Yeah, we gotta widen that. What? No, I got it. Here. Widen that. Yeah, take it. Widen that, bitch. Let's go, you got this. This procedure right now. We, we can't actually bang from out. He has to break from inside out. Yeah, you're gonna try to force it? Okay. You know, you're lucky you actually went into the cell next to, next to the closet space over here. Alright, come on, you got this, bro. Come on, you got this. Here, give me your hand if you need. What do you think? You just gotta clear the edges. That's I'm it. Trying. Yeah, I know, hard. I know. But you gotta break them, bro. You have no choice. Either you stay in there or you break them, you know? Alright. Alright, Jimmy. Let's see if you can squeeze in through this. <clears throat> Don't worry about your clothes, I'll buy you new clothes. Don't worry about your clothes. Come on. No, I'm stuck. You're stuck? Okay, get back I'm up. Stuck. Get back up. Get back up. Alright, get back up. Go back down. This should be a, a bit wider. You got this. Breathe slowly. Do you want water? I got water for you. Let me know if you need water. Can you, can you get in? Fuck, oh, my ass. Oh yeah, you, you're almost there. There we go. Okay, you got this. Squeeze through. Suck it. Oh, don't worry about those clothes. I'll buy you some new ones, bro. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Come on, bro. Oh, there we go, bro. We got this. Let's go. Let's go. Here, hold my camera. Hold my camera. Hold my camera. Leave him for a sec. Leave him for a sec. Hold this. Hold this. I got a better angle. Oh, you got this. Yo, hold up. Come here. Come drink some water. Come here. Come drink some water. Uh, we'll come sit down. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll sit down right there. Sit down right there and then we come on. You're overheated right now. Take out of prison is no joke. Operation Rescue Jimmy has been a success. Guys, I feel really bad he got stuck in there. He was trying to go in there and prank me and he got stuck in there. His link for his Instagram is down below. Go show him some love. Pray for him. Let him know how you feel. Just tell him, Jimmy, thank you. Thank God that you're fine, that you're safe. Go to his Instagram and blow it up right now. He, he deserves it. He literally just broke himself out of prison. We didn't do anything. We just brought him tools. The reason why we couldn't really do anything is because... Well, this thing doesn't even open anymore. Thank God it was open before. We can't actually, we have no room to maneuver and hit the wall inwards. He could only hit it outwards from his area. How does it feel to be locked up in prison, bro? He's hearing voices, man. I know, huh? There's a lot of animals outside, that's probably what you were hearing. Would you do that again if you could? No. That was, never, in, that was insane. Never ever close the door bro, behind you. I was literally, I know, I was so scared that we had to call rescue, because if we did, bro, we're all right, y'all, just because we're dumbasses and probably straight savages, you guys know me, I'm a professional idiot. We might end up spending the night here, but there's still more to explore. I'm not ending this freaking trip. I want to continue. I'm here. We busted him out of prison. It cost me almost $300 to get all these tools to break him out. And you know what? I want to I want, I want to continue exploring. So whatever happens, happens. Jimmy, you're a savage. Guys, go show Jimmy love down in the comments below and show him some love on his IG down below. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like it doesn't want us here. We're at what I think is the cafeteria, maybe, of the prison. An area where I haven't explored just yet. Holy shit. Now this is scary. Wow. Oh my god. Careful guys, there's animals in here. There's ping pong tables too. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at these ping pong tables. So how come this building out of all the buildings are the most destroyed? I think the hurricane. The hurricane, huh? Yeah. Wow, look at this, guys. We keep hearing these female screams in this place here. Kid. Whoa. I don't know, bro, but that is scary. Yeah. The second, look, there's trees growing inside the building. This is how long this place has been abandoned for. There's literally trees growing inside of here. 
What else is that? What the f is that? Yeah, it sounds like, like there's a freaking monster or a demon outside of the window over here. Okay. Oh. Whatever that is, I do not. Whoa, whoa, it's behind you, bro. Be careful, it's back that way. Whatever that is, I don't want to run into that thing. That thing sounds dangerous. It's on this side now. But, Jesus, man, look at this place. What are you? It literally sounds like a demon. I know it's probably not a demon, but it sounds like a demon. Bro, what if it's like a freaking like female demon spirit? I don't know. My mind is just funny the way it works, but look at all this, guys. There's like a little tunnel over here. This looks like it was the cafeteria slash recreational area. There's ping pong tables. I know, right? There's literally a tree growing inside the prison right now. Yo, I want to figure out what the hell that noise is. Let's go towards the scary noise, you guys. What'd you find? Dude. Look at this. Come take a look at this. The tree has grown into the building. And look at all the, look at all the vines. Wow, this is crazy. I've never seen any... I've actually never seen anything like this before. It's almost like the building is alive now because of these trees. What? Yeah, that's scary on that side. Whatever that is, it's getting closer to us. We're outside right now. We're gonna go find the other cell blocks. Go inside and see what we can discover in there. Gunshots. Not sure if you guys heard that, but we just heard a shit ton of gunshots as we were walking off camera. Somebody's firing off bullets, bro. So we're getting gunshots. Gunshots are going off. Shit. Bro, I just heard a gunshot land over there. Shut up. Hit the ground. Yeah. Careful. That sounds like an AR. Yeah. You guys just heard that. Sounds like a freaking gun battle going on. This prison is base is not exactly in a friendly area. It's in a very, very, very rough part of town. I don't want to walk that way and risk getting hit by crossfire. I heard a bullet land in the ground over there. Yeah. Huh. Is there somebody there? I don't know. I saw like a red light and then it went, oh, that's, that's okay. But I heard a noise. Yeah, keep your eyes open. All right. Guys, you never know who or what is lurking in these abandoned prisons. They're really scary. The adventure must go on though. We are inside of the library, apparently with the wall set. I, I thought we were in the library before though. Oh, look over here, the books are all here. Whoa. They've left all the books behind in this place. I cannot believe this. So basically they would pick what type of books prisoners would read because they don't want prisoners reading anything that's gonna educate them on how to break out of prison. Wow, it's crazy. So he just found something really, really good, apparently. A classroom with a desk. Dude, that's so freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool. You guys don't understand the magnitude of how big this prison is. Like, we've been exploring it for quite some time. Hey, Mr. Lizard. Hello. Hi. I just bit me. <laughs> it just bit me. Hey, check this out, you guys. I made a new friend. His name is Tom. Let's go show them off to the other guys. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. You guys know how gentle I am with animals. I love animals. So, I'm currently still at the prison. It's actually been much, much later. I don't know about y'all, but I get hungry really, really quickly. And when most Sergeant gets hungry, most Sergeant gets hungry, man. So we got that Popeye's hookup in the prison. Guys, prison food is awesome. Look at that. Popeye's chicken. Mmm. Literally just found it in one of the cells. Pretty damn good, right? I'm joking, I didn't find it. But yo, when you're hungry, we eat good in prison. Most RG comes prepared. I got coleslaw. Mm. Mm. Let me know how many. F I, actually, I don't think anybody's ever brought Popeye's chicken into an abandoned prison. Or a prison, for that matter. I'm the first to do it. In no way is this sponsored by Popeye's. Popeye's will be sending you an invoice later tonight. 
Pay up. All right, guys, that was really good. I'm about to finish up eating. I mean, like, this was actually really delicious, but I'm really full. About to get the heck out of here, so I'll see you guys outside. Was it rough in there with Bill Cosby? Honestly, bro, I don't know how people do it. It's not the place to be. Yeah. Straight so, up. Jimmy lost his virginity in prison tonight. Um, the backdoor virginity. I, I can't believe we busted him out of jail. So anyways, right now we're somewhere in the really dangerous part of America. Yep. Really, like literally there's guys with guns everywhere. And we heard gunshots when we were inside the prison, which was really crazy. I think we're gonna get pulled over now, which is cool. <laughs> That'll be cool. Well, this is all we need. Today's been one crazy day, man. But I'm glad Jimmy's safe and sound. Go to his Instagram, yeah. blow it up. Um, tell him, yo, Jimmy, we're glad you're okay. We're glad you didn't die. And yeah, he told me off camera he was pretty scared in there. He was hearing. What were you hearing? I felt like people were walking right by the cell, bro. I felt like people like people footsteps were like talking. Damn. Like it was just it was crazy, man. I was losing and my mind. And we just got lit up by the cops. We just got lit up by the cops. Great. Right. I'm gonna film this whole thing. And your seatbelt back here doesn't work. Great. Hello. 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 So far, you guys are friendlier, friendlier than our Canadian cops. <laughs> cool. We're like four hours away from home right now. I'm glad it's the cops that pulled us over, not those gangsters that I made fun of through the window. Yo, my boy got a warning. Can I say how awesome you are, dude? You You're awesome, me. man. Thank you so much. Guys, shit, the cops are coming. Shit, 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 they're coming. I'm just joking. We just got away. Yo, that was awesome. Jimmy almost went back to prison. Almost got it, got it good in prison. Damn, that's crazy. That's so crazy. But yo, you know what's funny, guys? Whenever you tell somebody that you're a YouTuber, cops are nice. But those cops were actually really, really nice. So big shout out to these homies right here. But anyways, on that note, smash that like button. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to be you, do you, stay positive, and just live a little, you sexy bastards. I'll see y'all later.